Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix 5M crashing, not launching, freezing, stock, black screen, and errors. Okay, um, this is a compilation, or I'll, I just uh, I'm going to share with you everything you need to know to uh, all all the methods that you have to do that you have to test to fix any problems related to this. Now. This is what I've tested myself. I have no, um, like I have no, like well, I'm only showing you what I've tested myself and it worked or I've tested but it didn't work, but there's a chance it's gonna work for you or it may not work or it may not work uh, for you, bae, but it is gonna work for a different person, right? So make sure you watch it until the very end. It's very important to try all the methods so we can fix this problem and then we can just enjoy the game. And let's jump right in the video. Now, without wasting any second. So the first method now is we have to head over to Windows Update. And I'm not really saying here we have here to update our Windows because that's ready. That's ready. I'm supposed that it's ready. Some that you already know that you have to do, and you already done that before. But it's something that I really like to check sometimes if there's any driver adva ad uh, driver available instead of going here because a lot of people it seems like they're encouraging you to go here and then display a date driver and this never worked for me i never had any um any not another encounter any 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 time there weren't any times so i know when i clicked here and there were some available drivers to install so what you have to do is to click on advanced options and then optional updates and then driver updates and here it was a really huge list of updates available for me to download. So make sure you click, you check all the driver updates and click on download and install. I know this is very simplistic for some of you, but I'm telling you, uh, this is usually what causes the problem. Sometimes also the game, obviously, the game is not perfect like any game. So, but yeah, that's important to try. So I'm just going to to go through this video very fast so we can you can uh, see if it works so now the next method <clears throat> uh, make sure you make sure you install nvidia geforce experience the latest driver you know head over to geforce experience once you install it and click on check for updates and install the latest updates okay click on that this is going to help you a lot and it's very very important to install the latest driver you might not have uh, this Microsoft Visual C++ maybe so make sure you click on this and download as well and uh, just click on download and install and also make sure you install make sure you install DirectX and user runtime web installer click on download button as well and uh, install this as well all right <clears throat> excuse me this is what you need in order for any game to work so maybe you don't have this if you already have this obviously just skip to the next uh to, to the next method all right and if you are an intel user click on download on this I'll, I'll leave all the links in the description of this video click on download for amd user this will install the latest drive updates for you this will install the latest drivers for you as well and this will install the latest driver as well for you. Now the next method we have to head over to command prompt and here in command prompt I'll leave a command in the description of this video so you can enter this command. I really hope this is gonna help work for you because I know it's super it's just annoying when you can't um, play the game enjoy the game because you have to face you have to go through a lot of hustle to find ways to fix the problem. So now just enter this command and this will scan if there's any any you know problems in your computer but the mistake I made here is just you have to make sure you you run command prompt as a mini share because otherwise it won't work. So yeah, now enter and now it's working as you can see with well, beginning system scan. But it had done this before so I'm not going to wait. So make sure you wait till the verification is completed and then move to the next step which is to go to, you can also press on your keyboard Windows logo plus I, weapon settings is much faster, go to settings now, and here just delete the temporary files. This uh, can sometimes help, <clears throat> obviously. 
also your game can crash because you have a lot of apps running in the background and so make sure you remove files then and after you removed all the files that are running in the background like sorry removed you clicked on that button to remove files then close the apps that you're running in the background you don't need while you play the game you can also go to performance sorry to details and here locate uh, locate um, you have to locate uh, 5M and then you right click on that and select high performance there so Windows 11 will prioritize will prioritize 5M over other apps so make sure you're doing that and now let's head over to the next method graphic settings and here click on change default settings and make sure you enable these settings check this box and check this box and uh, turn it on and then go and locate here 5M and if you can't find it here just click on browse and add it from here now just click on browse and add it where you download it because for me it's in a different folder than yours click on options then once you added 5M and select here high performance so Windows will always prioritize uh, sorry will always use your GPU perfect now the next step what you have to do is something that didn't work for me I hope it's gonna work for you is go to compatibility I know for some user this works without any problems as I said for me won't work maybe or will work or were it will work sorry and for others might not work or, or there's a probability or chance it will work so I don't know exactly just make sure you try so check this box as well check run uh, this program in compatibility mode and uh, check this box for disable full screen optimizations and also check this box for run this program as administrator and always as change high uh, dpi uh, settings and click on override high dpi settings click on apply and ok and uh, that's pretty much the end of the video and now i hope you won't have any problems with crashing not launching freezing stock black screen so make sure you also restart your computer and I hope guys this video helped you. I know it's very annoying when you can't play the game you have to look for problems. So I hope guys this video helped you. Now I hope you're going to have a fantastic day. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.